So today's vlog is a short guide to your trip in Dubai. So if you plan to come to Dubai and you want a short guide to know where to go, what to see, what to explore, where to eat, where to stay, then this is the video for you. So stay till the end. As well, all of that. That entire stretch is called Jumeirah Beach Residence. And this place has been around for almost a hundred years. So we are going to see a plane, an Emirates airline plane with flowers. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Just Go with Amreen. Before I carry on and I talk about today's vlog, I had to pause and say thank you. Thank you so much each and every one of you who subscribed to my channel, who has supported me through my one year long journey on YouTube. I just hit 1000 subscribers a few days ago and I am seriously grateful and humbled and I really appreciate your support. I am so grateful. So if you've been following me for the past few months, then you know that I have been exploring and experiencing the city of Dubai, city that I grew up in. So if you are looking to visit Dubai, this is the video for you. I'll be talking about everything from uh, where you can stay, the areas that are best, the prices of alcohol in Dubai and where you can find it and all that kind of stuff. Also uh, the experiences, what you can explore, where you can go everything so stay tuned that this video is super information packed first time visitor to dubai might get really overwhelmed with the exciting attractions and activities and shopping and nightlife but don't worry i'm here to help here's a sample guide of how you can go about planning your first trip to dubai let's go so this is jbr the entire stretch is jbr that's behind me and that as well all of that that entire stretch is called Jumeirah Beach Residence it's one of my most favorite places by the way in Dubai so if you want to explore the new Dubai and uh, you don't want to pay anything exorbitant for it there's always the JBR this was built uh, in 2002 it started the construction but completed in 2010 so it's been officially launched and open for people since 2000 so it's a great place for tourists as well as residents to spend an entire day over here. So add another beauty to your list of island destinations in Dubai. Blue Waters Island. It is home to Ain Dubai, also known as the Dubai Eye. Uh, it's the world's largest observation wheel. Along with 200 retail and dining concepts, the modern district features unparalleled views of the Gulf. So I would definitely suggest if you're coming to JBR, uh, it is a 10 to 20 minute walk from there. I would recommend spending a few hours in Blue Waters Island, just walking around on the promenade. It's so peaceful here and so quiet. So if you're interested in water sports or um, kayaking, I would suggest go back to JBR after Blue Waters Island and spend the evening kayaking during sunset. So after kayaking, if you still want to explore a little further, then I would say if you come here during the winter months between November and March, they have a beautiful beach market that they put up at Jumeirah Beach Residence. So make sure you check that out. Hi everyone. So we just arrived at Heritage Village and this place was built in 1997. Dubai Heritage Village preserves a sense of old Dubai through its life-sized reconstructions of stone buildings and tents laid out in traditional village setting. It felt like going back to the times the locals were living simpler lives and crafting beautiful masterpieces and sipping coffee. The Heritage Village is a great place to see more aspects of the traditional Dubai life. So Bastakia is known to be one of the 
most oldest historical places in UAE. It dates back all the way to 1890s. Uh, it was supposed to be demolished, I think, a couple of times, but it didn't get demolished. In fact, it has been restored, renovated uh, since 2005. And uh, it's it's actually, this is where the people back in the day used to stay. They are all homes that have been converted into restaurants and, you know, cafes and museums. Like... Different place if you want to understand how important coffee is to the culture of UAE, this is the place you should visit. Dubai's Coffee Museum is a coffee lover's paradise tucked away in the Heritage Hub neighborhood in Bar Dubai inside Pastakia. That right behind me is one of the entrances to the Gold Soup and this place has been around for almost a hundred years so anybody who visits Dubai as a tourist or even the residences here for that matter should at least once come to this souk for sure. Very importantly, sharpen your bargaining skills. This place has, has over 300 stores and you need to haggle your way to get the right price and use cash if possible to to bring the price lower even more people have haggled here almost 30 percent uh, from the you know uh, price that the shopkeeper says another thing um, i would not suggest driving to the gold souk ever you want to either take a, a, a metro a train to it or you want to come by abra uh, through the creek but you don't want to drive here. So I was actually looking for the spice souk but I just stumbled upon the textile souk. Um, this place has pashminas, abayas, kaftans. Wow, that's a colorful souk. We walked quite a bit on our way from the uh, gold souk all the way to the spice souk. We were following the maps on Google and we were walking and it actually took us through these really beautiful lanes so many things to purchase from so who says you have to shop from a multi-level mall in Dubai only if you want a little traditional style of shopping you can always come here you can spend an entire day shopping it's insane it's great anyway now we are headed to the spice spice souk this is the spice souk and it's one of the most popular souks in Dubai the narrow passages of these old markets are lined up with small stores selling every herb and spice under the sun. So on day three, you will be spending most of your day in Dubai Mall, the world's largest shopping mall, because there is way too much to do over here. And you will see that in just a few seconds. But what I wanted to say is that you could spend the entire day here, watch the laser show and the fountains and leave from here around 7 p.m. and reserve a table in Point Palm Jumeirah and head there to watch the world's largest fountain show. So in one day, you'll be seeing the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa, the world's largest shopping mall, Dubai Mall, and the world's largest water fountain in Point Palm Jumeirah. Most people go to Dubai Mall for a few reasons. One is to obviously watch the water fountain, which is very famous there. And second is to watch the laser show at the Burj Khalifa, which happens in the evenings. And they have a very famous indoor Dubai Aquarium. Now, apart from this, very few people know that Dubai Mall has many more attractions, such as the Kidzania, something called the VR virtual reality park and they have the real cinemas uh, which has um, platinum suites with reclining chairs it's amazing experience and they also have an ice rink um, inside the mall and so much more so you can practically spend an entire day experiencing exploring shopping enjoying all these attractions in Dubai mall so the last and final stop is the point so the point is actually an open plan mall if you see right behind me all those are like restaurants and it's a lot bigger than this so it's basically a waterfront uh, mall an open plan mall which has upscale restaurants and even shopping 
As opposed to the fountains in Dubai Mall, the fountain in the point Palm Jumeirah uh, only functions in the evenings after sunset. So there is this beautiful bar that I like, uh, which has gorgeous views to this fountain, and it's called a cappella. I would reserve before I head there. Reserve a table, go there for dinner and drinks, and enjoy the world's largest fountain show from this restaurant. Look at those views, guys! Just look at it. So along with sightseeing and exploring and shopping, eating is equally important. So after that three-day itinerary, let's move along and here's a list of a few places that you can go grab a bite. This is uh, Balalit, scrambled eggs and vermicelli. This is shabab, um, Emirati pancakes. This is uh, Kavisa. This is Bedwa Tamat, which is scrambled eggs and tomatoes. And that is Baby Shark, which I'm most excited about. It is Jashid. It comes with white rice and a little oil. This is the first time I'm gonna try um, Rigat. So let's go. This place is literally like on the street. It's just like a hole in the grocery. And he's making Rigats. Okay, now we're gonna have the original. This is a. This is a regard that most um, Iranians and Arabians like. I love how he's doing that. My God, that looks hot. And that's with eggs and cheese and fish sauce. The fish sauce is basically made out of mustard, dry fish, salt, and water. So that's I'm I'm having that for the first time. I've had the Oman chips one before. Okay, here we go. First time camel meat. Uh, a very famous Imarati sweet dish. It's called Lukemat, and it is basically deep fried dough balls dipped in super sweet date syrup. It's supposed to be crunchy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Uh, for dinner, we are having a dish called Mandi. It's a Yemeni dish but it is extremely famous amongst the Emiratis. So this is, it's basically rice and cooked with a lot of spices. It's not spicy, but just spices for flavor and with meat, with either chicken or lamb. And the, this meat is slow cooked underground for hours. So it's supposed to be extremely tender. So before you plan your visit to Dubai, you should know the best time to travel to UAE is between November to March. Having said that, that does not mean you cannot visit Dubai during the summer, but there will be a lot of things that you won't be able to enjoy to its fullest capacity if you come here in that the Heat. best time, as I said, is from November to March and October and April months are considered as shoulder months. Another very important thing that you should check before you plan your trip to Dubai is when is the holy month of Ramadan uh, in Dubai because the dates of the Ramadan month change every year. So do make sure you check that before you plan your trip. As for the ideal areas to stay when you visit Dubai, depends on your pocket to be honest. So let's start with the luxurious. So the luxurious high-end areas are considered to be downtown Dubai which is around Dubai Mall and Burj Khalifa, the Sheikh Zayed Road, Palm Jumeirah, places like that. Uh, then the mid-range uh, hotels and apartments Airbnb fall in the areas of Business Bay, Dubai Marina, JBR Walk. Uh, uh, and also Al Barsha and Barsha Heights. Now, if you have a lower budget than that, you can consider Jumeirah Lake Towers or the Old Dubai, which is Bar Dubai, Al Karama, or Dera. 
So this was part one from the Dubai travel guide series. I'm going to do a part two where I will be talking about the alcohol, alcohol laws, shisha and its laws. And also I will be talking about the do's and don'ts before you visit Dubai. And I will give you three more days of itinerary to visit Dubai because honestly three days is not enough to see all of Dubai. So if you like this vlog, give me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming and exciting vlogs. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, stay safe, take care. Cheers guys. Bye. Oh my God, my car is a mess. Okay, wait. All right, now that's better. So, uh, what am I saying? Yes. <laughs> Today I'm taking... So today's vlog is about a short today's vlog is about no forward please go ahead and hit subscribe to my channel right away and what should i say now <laughs>